What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to TJ's Vlogs. I vlog and channel uploads every couple days. How is everyone doing today? So guys, welcome to the 2021 year in review. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm probably going to fit it into a 10 minute video, I hope. So bear with me. So anyways, guys, welcome to the 2021 year in review. I'm TJ. If you guys are new, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good shit. Um, yeah, so 2021, what can I say? It's been a weird year for me. And I have to say that just because a lot of weird things have happened in the last couple months. And by the way, sorry about my voice. I lost it. I don't know how I lost it, but I lost it tonight in some way, shape or form. But yeah, that's a different story for a different day. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So in any event, yeah, I lost my voice. I don't know how that happened, but that's, yeah. Anyways, 2021, what can I say? 2021 started off really good. Um, I was still doing random Nautica videos. I also had my friend Darius help me, you know, towards the end of his run of doing videos with me. And Tori and I moved. So I did this. I actually scripted this video. I was doing random Nautica and I found this house that was for sale. And Tori and I just happened to move there. Now that was pretty much just a you know, mutual decision between me and her. I wanted to move. She wanted to move. You know, we did that. So yeah, Tori and I moved. Then towards, you know, a little bit into 2021, Tori and I, like, I kind of stepped away from YouTube. I started focusing more on my podcast, I felt like. And also, I was in the process of trying to start a new channel called The Spirit Project. Also, when I was doing YouTube, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I was kind of like, undecided like do i still want to do youtube or do i want to do something else you know i i was still undecided i i still kind of am like i still have ideas of what i want to do but i don't have the people to do it with like for example in 2018 when i started this I had my friend steve I had my friend cliff brian i had all these people help me with videos but whenever they had a different idea for my videos i didn't want it that way because i wanted it to do my certain thing for my videos so like Cliff and Brian would do their own thing and they moved on from my friendships and Steve and I, we still talk, but Steve is doing his own thing, which is fine. You know, I don't care. If you want to do your own thing, go do your own thing. I'm not going to, you know, force you to make videos, but that kind of left me by myself, which is Tori and I, and I know Tori doesn't want to do videos with me as well as much, but, um, she still helps me with videos. She helped me with pandemic, which is also something that we're working on, which I want to get into later on in the video. So I started doing a new channel called The Spirit Project where I wanted to make everything more like haunted based. So when I did Unexplainable back in the summertime, I wanted it to be its own thing. So I started The Spirit Project back in March with my friend Bob, who happened to have COVID and we didn't know until he got tested. I thought it was pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, like I said. So we filmed, uh, we filmed the trailer for the Spear Project, and then I started to do more like hiking videos. So I hiked in Downingtown. I pretty much hiked at my summer house. Took a little bit of a break from uh, doing YouTube. Started with the channel Spear Project. Bob and I filmed the first couple episodes. Filmed a little bit up in my summer house again. Then I got a three thousand dollar haircut. I quit a nine to five job to actually start a job into the radio field, which if you want to listen to that, go on my podcast, check that out. Or if you want to check my out, my Facebook, TJ Gleason, you know, check it out. So anyways, yeah, I started a job, got into radio. Then I started just vlogging my life, which I thought was okay, but it really wasn't that fun. I wasn't having a really good time. And uh, yeah. I mean, it, it just, there was a lot of things going back and forth with my uh, videos, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Then, here we are now, where I'm doing Pandemic, and I'm already on episode three, you know, figuring out ideas. So, yeah, Pandemic, great show, uh, something I started, I wrote the script in 2020, and it's just a lot of things that I have to process, and there's fireworks going on. But yeah, no, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Pandemic. I've, um, that's pretty much my year in a nutshell. I didn't really do much. I, 
I did 23 videos throughout the whole year. I did one live video. <clears throat> and yeah, it was just, it was a weird year for me. And it was weird for me throughout the holidays as well with COVID going on. And, you know, Christmas was weird. Thanksgiving was weird for me. Even New Year's is weird. And I just, I don't know, 2021 just wasn't a really good year. I mean, my car just completely took a dive. I did something stupid with my car. I, I it, it was a really, I mean, we had a lot of bad times and then we had a lot of good times. I mean, me getting on the radio was a really good thing that happened to me. Me getting a job in my dreams was a really good thing that happened to me. And it, I, I like the idea. I like the fact that I am um, starting a project that I'm going to be finishing because usually when I start these projects, I usually, you know, end them on a cliffhanger and don't pick them back up. Uh, and it's something I just want to do. Like, I just want to, whatever projects I have, I want to finish them. But now that I'm working on Pandemic, I'm content on finishing that right now at the moment. So I hope everyone enjoys what's to come in the next uh, couple uh, months. Also, Bob and I did do the Spear Project. Um, the Spear Project is mostly focused on the paranormal. Um, I was going to do abandoned places as well, but I don't want to do abandoned places on the spirit project if it's just going to be focused on paranormal things and scary stories altogether. So it's just going to be more paranormal based channel. So that's going to be coming back probably mid January or February. I'm still focusing or trying to work on what we're going to do, what Bob and I want to do. We have a lot of uh, locations we want to check out. We have the devil's, uh, the devil's den. Then we have Satansville. Uh, Slayton maybe when I did Slayton back in the day, so we might be doing that. Hopefully, um, hopefully we don't get caught. But yeah, we have a lot of things we want to do for Spear Project, so that's going to be coming underway. Also, my uh, my channel, I'm still going to be doing this. I have a lot of ideas. I have three episodes of Pandemic left that I want to get started with, or want to finish. I also want to do more vlog based content on my channel just to show people what I'm doing. Um, what my daily life uh, routine is. And I probably won't be posting a lot on the vlog channel just because I want to focus on the Spear Project and get that underway. Also, I want to focus on some new things I have been uh, working on as well. And I want to do bucket list series. Uh, I want to finish my bucket list. I want to get that underway. I have 200 things to do on my bucket list. And I only did like 15 of them. So I want to get at least like a majority of them done before I die or before I have kids at that point as well because... There are some things I want to do before I have kids. Also, um, for 2022, Bob and I are going to be collaborating. We have been talking a lot. We have a short film we want to do. We also might be doing a feature film, which is going to be kind of cool because I have a lot of ideas that I want to work on. He has some ideas that he wants to do. Um, we also, he also told me the strangest story today, too. It was about um, Bobo the Clown. I don't know who Bobo the Clown is, but he told me there's this like weird clown lurking around. I haven't seen him. I mean, we live probably 15 minutes apart. And this guy, Bobo the Clown, is literally lurking around my neighborhood and his neighborhood searching for people. I I, I mean, I don't I don't know who he is. Bobo, if you're out there, if you're watching this. Don't kill me. I, I I promise I won't like expose who you are or like try to. But yeah, I mean, Bob the Clown is coming out. He's going to come and attack us. I mean, I don't know. Bob was telling me some wild shit that he uh, about Bob the Clown. So I'm very excited about that. Um, also, yeah. So Bob and I are going to be working together. We have a lot of collaborations coming your way. 2022, there's going to be a lot more vlog content, a lot more Spear Project content, a lot more podcast content, guys. Go check out my podcast, TJTV on Spotify. Oh, also, I got the biggest news today before my video ends. Everyone knows Storyfire. Everyone who follows McJuggernuggets knows Storyfire. Go on Storyfire and look up TJ's vlogs. Because starting tomorrow, I am going to be posting more story-based and vlogging content on Storyfire. 
starting tomorrow. I will be posting the very first episode of Pandemic on Storyfire. Because today I just got verification that I have unlocked video on Storyfire. So yeah, stay tuned. I mean, I'm very excited. I mean, uh, just stay tuned for a lot of things that are happening. We have some content coming to YouTube. We have some content coming to Spotify. We also are going to be doing some stuff for Facebook with my podcast. So stay tuned for that. Um, some content for the Spirit Project. And also, some content on Storyfire. We are going to be posting a lot more content on Storyfire. I'm very happy. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Short little video today. Um, happy New Year's. Hope you guys enjoy New Year's. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Uh, don't, yeah, just don't drink and drive. Don't do drugs. I'm hearing voices. Not, I swear to God, I've just heard like someone talking. It was weird. I'm telling you, it's a ghost coming after me. Anyways, yeah. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in the new year. On Storyfire as well. TJ's Vlogs. I just want to put that down in the description below. Happy New Year, everybody. Love you to death. And um, stay lit. I'll see you guys in the new year. Peace out.